Today we're going to be figuring out how to install Portainer on a completely blank Ubuntu install of 20.04. So I've got a putty window here and I just set up a new VPS and it's completely blank and we're going to log into it and begin. So I'm going to log in as root and I'm going to put my password in. And since there is nothing on this install yet, we're going to do a sudo apt update. I'll put all the commands that I type in and paste in here uh, in the description. There'll be a link so you don't have to remember all of them. So the server is going to be updating its repositories. And then we're going to run some prerequisites. So there will be a command here. So this is going to be sudo apt get install. We're going to need HTTPS. We're going to need curl, certs, software properties common, and the GNUPG agent. Hit enter. Yes, we do want to install. We'll wait for this to be finished. Done. So the next thing that we need to do is get a copy of Docker onto the server here. So to do that, we're going to use curl. And it's an S, uh, HTTPS server, so SSL. And then we're going to download the GPG. And we're going to need to add it. Uh, add, add the GPG key to the server. So curl will go out and grab this exact file from this URL. So we'll just hit enter and it says okay. Then what we need to do is add the GPG key onto the server. So we do sudo apt key fingerprint. And these last, these numbers, uh, these hexadecimals right here, these are the last four digits CD or CD88 and then the four digits before that of this GPG key. So it says successful. And you can see what I was talking about right here. Now that we've got that, we're going to add Docker in as a repository. So I'll paste this command in here apt add repository. And then here is the Ubuntu Linux download from Docker. And we're going to get the stable release, which is, um, you could get dailies, but the last stable release is uh, just that, stable. So the reason that we did this last step where we uh, had to add in a fingerprint key, if you go to their website on Docker, it just verifies that you're getting the correct verified image. You're not installing it from um, some unknown source or someone has done a man in the middle attack to you and you're not going to uh, be installing the correct thing. Okay, so this stable release was installed. So now what we need, or the repository was installed. So now we need to install Docker and the Docker CLI. So to do that, we're gonna do sudo apt get install docker ce, docker ce cli, command line, and the container. Click yes. And through the magic of video, it is now installed. So now we need to add a user group called Docker. So we're going to do that with sudo usermod-ag docker. And then we're going to use the current user. And we're ready to reboot. So we'll just do a sudo reboot. Now that the VPS has restarted, we're going to log in again as root. And I'll put my password in. And we're going to see if Docker installed correctly. So to do that, we'll use the command sudo docker run hello world. And this will show that Docker has been successfully installed. 
So the next step that we need to do is to install Docker Compose. And there's a, just a few commands that we need to do to do that. So we're going to use curl again. So sudo curl. And we're going to go to GitHub for Docker Compose, download it. And then we're showing what path to put it in right here. Hit enter, and download it successfully. And we need to give execute permissions. So we're going to go sudo chmod execute user local bin docker compose and that matches right here user local bin docker compose hit enter and we need to make a sim link now so sudo ln dash s user local bin docker compose and we're going to make a sim link to user bin docker compose hit enter now we can see if this actually executes as a binary file or a program by docker dash compose dash dash version. And we see that it was able to execute and we can now use it as a binary or executable file within the Linux environment. So from here we need to install Portainer. So we've got docker compose and we've got docker installed successfully. So to do that we're going to go cd and we're going to go back and you can tell which folder we're in and then we're going to do this command which is docker volume create portainer underscore data that was successfully created and we're going to now issue one more command Oops. which is docker run and then here's the port, and here's the port that we're going to access it. Name, portainer, restart always. Here we've got the Docker to sock and the portainer container that we just created. All right, so if that was successful, we can open up a new browser and what we can do is put the IP address of our server in here and you'll see we've got portainer successfully installed. Now if you're doing this on your home network you'll probably see an internal IP address and that's okay since we've been doing this on a VPS we get this what uh, we're using the VPS's address plus port 9000. Now this can be risky if you're doing it in a VPS because there is a default username and password associated with Quick. You're going to want to change this username and password immediately uh, because we have it on a VPS. So I'm just going to say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, as we're going to be destroying this VM in just a second here. Create user. And then we're just going to want to manage the local Docker environment. Click Connect. And we've got Portainer running successfully. Since we have this running on a VPS, we're going to want to secure this as best we can. So you probably want to use UFW uh, within Ubuntu to secure or restrict access to your own IP address from accessing this management port 9000 for Portainer. Hopefully this was a quick guide to installing Portainer, Docker Compose, and Docker in a blank Ubuntu 20.04 install.